Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eunice Chilma Imo, as you already know. So today I just want to go on a rundown on how my October went. You know, every month I talk about something I really liked in that month, like September, I talked about my favorite things. In October, I didn't really do much of a favorite thing in October. So I will just run down on how my October went. So let's just get straight into this video. so in the month of september i didn't discover anything new as i said earlier i did not like i wasn't really outgoing this month i didn't i wasn't in, I, I i don't think i was out to find something new or find you know whatever i don't know but i was just all indoors i was indoors most of the time in this september i was always eating in i was always doing stuff in i wasn't as in, i think this month of september um, sorry this month of october i've been mentioning september in a long time i've been mentioning september like throughout this video i think this month of october was kind of a very quiet one for me so anyway anyway i got to fall in love with smoothies yeah i fell in love with smoothies as in i love to take smoothies i love to take them cold or maybe frozen yeah so talking about smoothies talking about healthy choices i started my fitness journey in september 1st yes september 1st this is now october september 1st i think i was weighing 78 kg in september 1st and as at october 30th that's last saturday i lost four kg i'm weighing 74 now and i just like to take it slow i don't want i'm not in a rush for anything i want to take it slow i want to enjoy the process i want to you know just enjoy everything i'm learning to discover enjoy every new thing fitness is giving me like smoothie you know i i wasn't really a food person before i started my fitness journey so i'm enjoying it and i'm taking it slow no rush no rush i fell in love with boiled eggs because sometimes i have to eat just that falling in love with um salad wow i ate raw tomato one time in my salad when i bought salad there was a time they had tomatoes in it i never never used to i never used to like tomatoes but i fell in love with it like surprisingly i love tomatoes i chewed raw onions one time i found in my salad i didn't want to you know separate it i chewed raw onions well this fitness journey has does exposed me to new stuff that exposed me to new stuff and i like it i'm grateful anyway in the social media world in october you know september brought us a lot of um should we say drama and a lot of scandals september brought us all of that but in october you know when we're entering october we all thought that okay there'll be peace in the midst of men you know and everyone will live happily ever after and there'll be harmony and women supporting women and all, the, all of that good stuff october really really surprised us because the drama was now intense the drama grew more the drama was now everywhere and everyone was just dodging bullets and dodging this and dodging that so one surprised me really really well and that was messi johnson messi johnson okoje is a happily married woman with four children one sunny good day her child went to school and according to her child she was bullied period no mom on earth would watch her child cry and reporting that oh i was bullied uh, this teacher is always doing this to me this teacher is always using biro to flick my hair like that's so disrespectful that is something no mother would take as in no even even no mother would take it and I don't think I will stand by and watch my child being bullied 
or my child comes home crying and telling me that oh somebody beats me somebody hits me somebody did this to me somebody did that to me it's not it's not going to be funny it's not going to be funny it's, it can't be funny and my child coming home to say oh my class teacher bullied me my class teacher shouted at me and and said all sorts of bad things to me that can affect their self-esteem that can affect the way their confidence how bold they are they i said that can kill a lot of things that can kill really good attitude self-esteem confidence in a child it's it is wrong the way people were trained they are trying to now you know they are trying to manifest that same training into that child not knowing that see things have changed you cannot just be shouting at a child or just doing stuff in front of a child the child would talk the child would say something so we were trained differently and this generation kids born in this generation would definitely be trained differently you know so um i don't know if i've been blabbing and all that but I think Mrs. Johnson did a really good. She, she. I think she's. She, she did a good job being patient with the teacher. She did a good job not being violent. She did a tremendous job being really calm in all of these situations because I don't know how many of us have that kind of patience. My child crying and I'm coming to you calmly to say, okay, what happened? My child is always crying whenever she comes home to reporting you to me. And you are now shouting at me and telling me how much you hate me and telling me how much celebrity children are rude. I don't think I'm as patient as Mr. Johnson was. So she did a good job being patient. So the next story that really shook me was the story of an American actor as in October brought in a unimaginable things. Like I cannot even imagine an American actor, Alec Baldwin, accidentally shot a cinematographer Hunchins in a set. I, I was on a set this year, a movie set this year. And I'm not going to, as in, I'm not going to like, compare the way our location our set our movie set in nigeria i've not been to a lot of movie sets in nigeria i've been to just one movie set in nigeria where i played as an where i was an extra in a movie so i don't really know much about it but with behind the scenes that we see with we hear with the way the movie is i think that is so unbelievable like how did they get a real gun in a movie set? Like, do they use real things? Because I thought they used props. I thought they used, you know, rubber things, rubber, like, toys that look real. Even down to Bill's money, Seth, they use props. They use fake money. And they advise you not to take it out. They advise you not to take it outside to avoid police harassment and all that. They use fake stuff. How did a real gun enter a movie set because of God? Ugh, really, it surprised me. Like, I don't know if it has ever happened before. I think this is the first time because I, I was just reading the news. And with what he said recently, he said this happened, like this has not happened before in America. And unfortunately, the woman, Hunchin, had, Hunchins had, um, her name is Hail. I am Hunchins. I don't I haven't murdered the name. She had, you know, children. And she's a wife and a mother. I think this is so sad. Okay, yeah, he admitted that the fatal shooting on the set is a one in a trillion event. Like it is so so shocking that something like this will happen. And he also said there are incidental accidents on film set from time to time, but nothing like this. He said this is a one in a trillion episode. It is a one in a trillion event. Wow. I so feel bad for him because he'll be feeling so guilty. He'll be feeling so bad. And you know how the press can be. I don't think they, they will just protect or handle this with care. I think they just... I don't know. I don't know. And he has been really worried because he said photographers have been following him around and pissing off his little child. 
catastrophic thing yeah this is really this is really horrible because i thought yes exactly because i thought that rubber gun plastic guns no real you know guns on set and i'm surprised to just see that or read that oh this something like this happened like somebody was shot wow so anyway down to netflix down to movies i watched the bold type it's a seasonal movie yeah i watched the bold type i'm not done watching it but so far so good it's been a good one it's a very girly seasonal movie like it's a series if you're not so girly i don't think you enjoy it i really really loved it i really enjoy it so far i'm in episode two now right season two season two i love the friendship those girls have i envy them i envy their friendships i envy their jobs because i love love that kind of job that makes you and allows you gives you room to express yourself gives you room to be creative gives you room to grow your talents and to grow your career you know i don't know if things like that are in nigeria talking of jobs i've been job hunting and it's not a fun one at all anyway so i really really love their friendship i love how they handle things you know i love how they just they just break down issues and they always win at the end of the day they always win at the end of the day i love the way they give support to each other i love the way they refer jobs to their friends as in to one another you know they're just so supportive they're always there for each other those that kind of friendship is so rare I don't, yeah i love bow type i'm still on it i'm thinking about it every time i just want to watch the movie and finish it up yeah so um yeah so let's jump into the job thing yeah, yeah 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 so i'm still job hunting till now yeah i've been job hunting and all that it's not a fun thing at all at all at all at all it's not a fun thing and you know one of my friends though she just asked me randomly like do you regret leaving your other job and i was like no i don't regret leaving my other job we all know how jobs are in nigeria and I don't regret leaving it at all. I will never regret it. I see, as in after that job, I've, you know, grown. I've grown and I know what I want now. The job helped me know what I want. And I really know what I want. And that's what I want to chase. I don't think there's a point, there's any point staying in a place where you're not growing. You're just there. I feel you're just wasting your time, you know. I feel you're just wasting your time and you're not growing there. You're just there because you don't want to sit at home. I feel you're just wasting time i feel you need time to know you know you need time to like think about what you want at least make little efforts into getting what you want and heading to what you want to achieve so dear friend i do not regret leaving my other job i'm so happy i did i'm so happy i did i can't start spilling all of what happened blah 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 blah, blah. no but I'm really happy I did. I'm glad I did. At the time I did. Yeah. And I've learned a lot of things. I went to a friend's school. I was an extra in a movie. That's another part of life. You know, I learned a lot of things from that set. I learned a whole lot of things from there. I met people. I met, I will not say new friends, acquaintances. You know, who knows? Who knows? Just who knows? I saw how these people produce movies and how. it's not just about the actors and the actresses in the movie it is a whole work to produce a movie it is it takes the whole village to come up with a movie i saw how it is done behind the scene and i really really like it so um yeah i've been doing a whole lot of things i've had time for youtube i've been up uploading more recently you know i've been thinking about being on you know having a business of my own I've been thinking about having a business of my own and I'm working towards it. Yes, no income coming in and all that, but we'll get there slowly but surely we'll get there. So yes, lastly, Nigeria is a noisy place. I keep saying when I say it, I say it all the time, that Nigeria is a noisy, noisy place. Like these states, especially Lagos, is noisy. It's so, so noisy. You, you can hear all of the background noise from gates to honks of cars 
to children screaming to dogs barking to crickets and airplane Nigeria is a noisy place as in so noisy frustrates me I hate noisy places like I cannot function in a noisy place so anyway that's how my October went and I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you like it and share with me just give me a rundown of how your own October went and I hope and I hope November brings in joy and happiness into our hearts grants all of our heart desires and I hope we're happy in November I'll see you in my next one bye